Today we are making a really beautiful apple and walnut cake. It is so perfect for afternoon tea and it comes together really quickly. I can't wait to show you how to make it. So this cake calls for two different kinds of nuts. I've got almonds here and also the walnuts. The almonds, you can buy pre-ground to the almond meal, but I really like to grind it myself, you know, either in a food processor or a mortar and pestle, just to get that really nice texture on the nuts so it's not super fine. Um, and I've never really seen ground walnuts, so definitely buy those whole. I'm just gonna pop them in the mortar and pestle. And they're quite a soft nut, so they should grind quite easily. So we're just going to crush them up um, here now. And it doesn't have to be a powder. Um, as I said, I like a little bit of texture um, in the cake. So just give them a good grinding. And of course, you know, this will take a matter of seconds in a food processor. So you can see there's a little bit of texture in the nut still, in the walnuts. And you can absolutely keep going or grind them finer. But I do like to keep that... Um, texture in the walnuts. So we're going to stop there with those and I'm just going to start peeling the apples. So we don't want any of the peel in there. So I'm just going to peel these and then I'm going to core them and slice them so they're ready for when we um, are ready to add them in, which these actually go in last. So if you've got a little helper there next to you or someone that can peel these while you get started, that's great. I'm going to take out the core. Just like so. And this is three Granny Smith apples, which is about 400 grams. Um, a little bit less is fine, a little bit more, but don't go too much more because you do want to have that kind of nice balance of the batter. All right, so the apples are all sliced. I am going to add just a little bit of lemon juice to stop them from going brown. So just the juice of half a lemon, just give them a little toss there. And now we can move on to making the, the batter, the cake. In the mixer, I'm going to put in 250 grams of unsalted butter and it is softened and also 250 grams of caster sugar. It's going to go in and I've just got the paddle attachment and we're going to cream it until it's light and fluffy. All right, that's looking good. We're going to start adding in the eggs now. So three eggs, one at a time. I'm going to put them all in here first. And then we just need to beat them between each addition to make sure they're really nicely incorporated. And number three, perfect. So with the mixer on a low speed, we're gonna start adding them in. So once all of the eggs are added in, I did increase the speed to kind of medium high just to kind of give it that good chance to incorporate. Um, and when it's all mixed together, you can see it's really creamy. We're going to start adding the lemon zest and also the vanilla. I've just gone for some vanilla bean paste, but a whole pod is great too. Just scrape the seeds out. So we'll zest this lemon. We've got our beautiful lemon zest and that um, the oil from the lemon is just going to perfume the cake really beautifully and you know apples lemon walnuts They're really match made in heaven. So this lemon zest is going to go in now too and also our vanilla So with the mixer on really low, we're going to add the flour So this is 200 grams of self-raising flour and we're just going to do it in batches so a few kind of tablespoons at a time followed by some of the nuts and also the almonds. So we've got the walnuts and then the almonds here and a little bit of milk. So this is 100 mils of full cream milk. And we're just gonna repeat that process until we've kind of exhausted all of our ingredients. So some more flour, the walnuts, Almonds, add the rest of the flour. This is quite heavy. <laughs> Walnuts, and finish off with the milk. All right, it's looking beautiful. And um, you'll see that the texture you get from, you know, the home ground nuts is just incomparable. When you buy 
almond meal or ground nuts it's totally fine but it'll just give you a much different kind of cake um, it's up to you know personal preference I kind of like the texture so I always go for the kind of home grinding and I feel like you get a fresher product when you buy the whole nuts it lasts a little bit longer um, and so that's what I go for the last thing we need to do is to fold in the beautiful apples that we've cut up try not to get too much of that lemon juice um, from the bottom so just kind of pick it up so we're just going to fold this into the batter and once it's, you know, kind of covered by the batter, once the apples are really nicely covered, we're ready to put it into our tin. So I've got a 21 centimeter cake tin here and I've lined it, um, buttered and lined it with greaseproof paper. And now all that's left to do is to pour it into our tin. So this is gonna bake in a preheated oven, which is at 180 degrees and it's going to bake for about 45 to 50 minutes. So just smooth out the top of your cake. Oh, it looks so beautiful with all of those nuts and apples. And we are ready for the oven. So the cake is ready. It smells amazing. I can see all the little apples kind of poking up at the top and I can smell that vanilla as well. So we're gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes in the tin and then let it cool on a rack and we're ready to dust it with some icing sugar. This is my kind of cake. Simple enough, but still a little bit special with that dusting of icing sugar. I have to have a try. looks incredible let's have a look inside look at all those layers of apple all right time to dig in oh so tender mm. that vanilla and the hint of lemon with the apples and walnuts oh it really is one of my favorite cakes